the very f uh, last meeting before the Navin Pride Festival, the inaugural festival, it's our first time uh, ever to have a parade and, uh, and multiple events in the town for our own pride. We're a little bit tensed up. Um, there's a little bit of apprehension, there's a bit of excitement. Uh, it's been blood, sweat and tears, probably less, uh, probably will excuse the blood, but I'd say definitely sweat and tears. And it's definitely been um, uh, like having a second job, really. But it, I think it'll be worth it in the end, yeah. I think just to keep it, I would say keep it quiet, just in case it, it, it will attract protesters. So, well, just, you know, far right people who were already, after, after our launch last week, uh, Helen McEntee came in for awful abuse online. Not, not for our, we're hopeful that there won't be any sort of nasty um, skirmish or anything that might arise during the parade. But we have the Gardaí on board, we've got a good team of stewards, uh, so I think we should be okay. I've heard a few people um, down in the bull, there's been a couple of protests or whatever, um, but certainly not the majority in Navin. Absolutely not. No. Did you think maybe 10 years ago that there could have been a Pride Parade here? Never. The same as I never ever thought there'd be an ar aromatherapy shop in Navin. <laughs> <laughs> We're reasonably easy going as people and we want to live and let live. And, uh, we also want to promote that policy of live and let live. Uh, it's not good enough to just sit idly by. You have to say everyone is welcome and that uh, all parts of the community are part of the community. You know? All we're doing is bringing colour and noise and, and enjoyment. Uh, there's, no, uh, there's no deeper political message than uh, being proud of each other and being happy. You know, a celebration rather than a, rather than a protest of any kind. It's actually really exciting now seeing Navin jumping on this bandwagon and becoming part of something that is going to change history, it is going to change the town. Like I've seen everything from the local pubs and bars to the local solicitors that would not necessarily be things you would put together in the same sentence before. It's a community that it touches everybody's hearts. When I was 18 uh, I left Navin and I would have been um sort of not even sure of myself in terms of my sexuality or whatever. It would have been a couple more years before I realized that I, that I was gay. Uh, and um, yeah, I mean, a lot has changed since then. Um, obviously, there's still, we're still a minority, um, but uh, I think um, there's enough of us now, enough of a presence for, uh, for us to be, uh, to be seen and heard and, and, and celebrated. Yeah.